can be useful. Challenges. So we talked about what are the what is a good code, what exactly is a technical debt, what how what are the challenges? Uh, one challenge, for example, which everyone will agree is that you know del delivery pressures. Uh, we have signed up for something. The estimation is not up to mark. Uh, developers feel the pressure that you know they have to deliver functionality within a certain time frame. So that is one different one different way. The other thing is that maybe few developers who have a good quality mindset, but the others don't have. The whole environment is not conducive. So missing of quality mindset. Then there is also that if you have issues in terms of tools and processes, you don't do not have this proper skill set in that. Sometimes the standard currency is missing. So all these things are the different issues. While we have to deal with the with with, uh, with writing good and and solid code. Okay, we have we have talked about different perspectives of code quality. What are what is a code good good software? What are the different uh, challenges in that? Let's now try to think about uh, a scenario where we are able to have a solution mode for this. In this thing, I will try to basically uh, introduce you to a, you know, a something, uh, an, an example, uh, and then I will try to relate that uh, example with this code quality framework which, which we have developed. So in this code quality framework, I will be talking about five different elements, uh, which is uh, with a visit like quality cooking, uh, having a continuous delivery framework, uh, following test driven development or TDD as we say, their programming and having good code coverage. And then I don't, so I would like to you everyone to basically uh, think about a scenario that assume that there is a there is a child, uh, maybe his name is Sanjay, and he wants to learn cricket and he he, he tries to idolize someone like Virat Kohli who is a good cricketer and then he wants to himself to be to become a good cricketer. The first thing he wants he has to do is that he has to enroll himself to a sporting academy and then he has to start learning that, right? And the sports academy will ask him to, to buy equipment to start playing uh, to start playing the sport. So he he has he has to go and buy uh, something uh, you know bat, uh, you know, glove or, or things like that. The first thing in order to do anything would be to buy the equipment or the tools that can help you. Similarly, in our example. Uh, we call that aspect as quality coding. So let me, and then I'll cover all the five, four different elements while we come to the point. Let's let's see that uh, these five elements can actually uh, be divided into uh, either it's a mindset thing, as in which is in terms of understanding or in terms of living code quality, and a few other things like uh, quality coding, test coverage, and continuous delivery framework. These are the tool set part of it. And we understand we we have to be good in both of these things. Uh, unless and until we do not have a good mindset, it will not work out. If we do not have tools, it will not work out. So as I discussed about the uh, about the equipment part of the quality coding part, let's well, let's try and uh, see the first aspect of it. Yeah, quality coding. So as I said, that we have to we have to think about the different uh, equipment or tool set for for doing good coding. The first tool which you should be having is a tool to to find your technical debt, which is that what stage, how, what is the delta with the state which you want to have, and and where you are. For that, you have got tools like Sonar, Squale, and all the tools available. I'll be talking about the tool Sonar uh, while you know towards the other part of the presentation. Then you should be thinking about what are the different ways then you can find your static and dynamic code analysis. And then how how you can fix it? So there are tools like Reshaper, Visual Studio, and then there are different patterns to work for the dynamic part. In terms of tools and trainings, this is where uh, uh, so tools like FXCorp, StyleCorp, you know, uh, GenVam, and these other tools are available, which can actually help you to analyze and, and measure code. And lastly, you you have seen that there are things like uh, best practices. There are Microsoft best practices for C hash. Java best practices from Oracle, then there are you know multi-threading best practices. So all those things you should think that this is a part of the equipment or the tool set which has been provided. And then you should look at that under this bucket. So the only thing which this bucket is trying to do for you is 
is enabling you to have that those improvements. Right now, it doesn't tell you how to use it. Yeah. So we will see how to use this thing. And most of these tools are available freely, so there is no cost available. It's just that you have to be understand how to use it. As I was talking about that there are tools for static code analysis, 